Hi all, my name is Eddie Spielman. I am one of your Avery Dennison trainers. This is the Avery Dennison Academy. We are going to make a number of videos with tips and tricks for installers of each level. In this clip we are going to show you how to handle, avoid and remove tension in film using heat. Will you join me? I'm going to show you a few simple and solid techniques. There are other methods that you can use. Bumpers and mirrors have more complex and extreme shapes which lead to more tension. How you divide the tension is very important. Pay attention when you start positioning the film. If you choose the most straightforward method, in many cases you might create tension somewhere else. Watch if I just simply pull it around like this, it eventually results in an excessive amount of film here that will be difficult to process. What you need to do is divide the material. So how you position the film is very important. Pay attention to where you position your hands. The film has the right temperature and now I'm going to position it. I position my hand here, in the middle, and you see the crease appear. Now you can easily divide and spread the film to both sides. You see that on both sides, for now, I only have a little bit of tension. We've now reached a point where we will have more tension. First, we will of course remove the tension using heat. To avoid a color break, we will lift the film up as far back as to this light line in the bumper. Try to do this as smoothly as possible and in a nice straight line. Then we'll heat up the film. Be careful not to overheat the film, otherwise you could still get a color difference or adhesive break lines. I thoroughly heat up the film over here, where there is the most tension. Next I'll wait for the film to cool down again. When it has nearly completely cooled, you stretch the film over the curved surface. These steps I will repeat again at the next light line in the bumper. As you can see here, I've heated up the film quite hot, almost to the level required for post heating. Make sure you let the film cool down at which point you can apply the film further. If you would have some discoloration, it will almost not be visible because of the light line. When you're finished applying the film, you will need to post heat. Be aware that wherever you have stretched the film, post heating to a minimum of 90 degrees Celsius is required. So all the critical parts where you have stretched the film you need to post heat, edges, curves, corrugations. Let them cool down before you start cut with cutting and finishing. Thanks for watching. If you would like to learn more, go to graphics.averydennison.eu forward slash workshops.